Hello everybody, we're on Skycopter 3, and from what I can see, the roads look pretty good, and you know what, so does Toy Convoy 2009. To my left, to your right, down below, you got the barrels, that's always a good sight, toys, toys, and more toys for all the little boys and girls this season. Hey, we'll be out at the Kmart in Waynesboro until about, you know, 6.30, we're trying to help out over 700 kids in Waynesboro, everybody, now all I gotta do is try to figure out how I'm gonna get out of this thing. Somebody please help me, please. Good afternoon, Tracy Turner here at the Burger King in Stanton with Toy Convoy 2009. We have been asking you to bring down toys for deserving children in the area, especially the older kids. And look at this. This is a makeup set any tween would be happy to have. Happy boys and girls. That's our aim here in Stanton. And all of the toys you see here gathered today, stay here. Come down, join us, make you feel good. The Valley's newest Rotary Club is getting some attention this week by hosting its first summer carnival. The Mount Jackson Edinburgh Rotary Fun Fest kicked off tonight with good food, fast rides and carnival games. Dozens of residents came out despite some wet weather. The money raised will go to the Rotary Club to help with its many programs. Well, with Rotary being a, a new organization in town, we're hoping to um, really be able to give back to the community. To date, we've done uh, a flu shot drive and brought flu shots to the community. The Fun Fest continues through Saturday. It's held at the Food Lion parking lot in Mount Jackson. A car rally is taking a pit stop in Harrisonburg tonight. It's called the Babe Rally. Babe stands for Big Apple to Big Easy. The drivers bring the worst looking car they can find and drive it from New York to New Orleans in five days. They left New York this morning and arrive in Harrisonburg for their first stop tonight. The drivers participate in challenges such as best costume and scavenger hunts. We turned 40 and so I called my college buddy up who's also turning 40 and we said, let's do it, why not? Now the drivers can win up to $1,500 in prizes and many of them also take donations for charity. A gas station in Rockingham County caught fire and was damaged tonight after a truck pumping gas went up in flames. The fire happened at the Pure Gas Station on Brock's Gap Road near Folks Run. A truck caught flames after it failed to start. The truck was completely charred. Now several fire crews responded, no one was hurt. And the station owner says his workers acted quickly to make sure the flames didn't ignite the gasoline. Well, the employees hit the emergency shutoff switch um, before leaving the building. Um, and that was a very smart move on their part. Now, part of the station was also damaged by the fire. The flames spread up to a post and onto the roof. Investigators are still trying to figure out why the truck caught fire. Police closed the road to traffic for some time as they reconstructed the accident scene. Neighbors say the man lived nearby. A helmet could be seen on the ground, but police do not know yet if the man was wearing it at the time of the crash. Another passenger was taken to Rockingham Memorial Hospital for treatment.